Hey, this is Phone Arena, and what we're showing you today is the Samsung Diva, a phone that is uh, specifically targeted to the ladies out there. And as you can see, it has a very feminine look in white with this uh, diamond shaped um, back button here on the front, and also the back. And the back has this uh, very interesting shape, it's uh, very glossy, so it looks, it looks, um, it looks very nice. Um, on the back you have a 3.2 megapixel camera without autofocus or um, flash. Um, the screen is touch sensitive, uh, 2.8 inch, uh, but the resolution is not really high, so the uh, smaller texts are not very legible. Uh, actually, they are uh, very legible, but are rather uh, pixelized. Also, the colors uh, are also not very saturated on the screen, so the quality is not really good, but at least it's capacitive, so using it is, uh, is very enjoyable. And it's uh, perfectly good for, uh, for this phone, which is, uh, you know, not, uh, not the highest end out there. All the keys on the Samsung Diva are nice to press, including the front here keys, um, the, the volume rocker here, the, the camera and lock keys. The Samsung Diva does not have um, a 3.5mm jack for uh, headphones, but it has this standard micro USB port. Under the back cover, what you'll find, what you find under the back cover, is of course the battery, the micro SD slot here, right here, and of course the SIM card is uh, underneath the battery. The interface on the Samsung Diva is uh, the choice we've seen in many other um, Samsung handsets. You have multiple home screens. You have uh, this uh, widget bar here on the left, for example, let's try to drop this widget here. This is how it, uh, it's done. You can rearrange them. The main menu is um, divided again into uh, several pages. Scrolling is not very smooth, which is not nice. Uh, but still you have uh, all the needed apps like alarms, uh, camera, calendar. Uh, music player, uh, file exporter, and uh, everything that uh, an ordinary uh, customer might need. Uh, the special feature here in this phone is wish list. Here it is. It lets you uh, create items uh, that uh, you might uh, want to buy. You click uh, create wish list and then uh, give uh, the item a name, a price and quantity and uh, you can add some additional um, notes and here we have created black shoes and a Prada bag both of which seem to be pretty expensive the music player uh, it lets you filter content by genre, albums, artists, podcasts nothing really spectacular here everything is uh, well known so finally, we can say that the Samsung Diva is a decent cell phone. Um, what we didn't like about it is that it doesn't pack really uh, many ladylike features, except for the design, of course, and this uh, wishlist app. Um, however, it does have a decent uh, feature set, which is actually compa uh, comparable to the one of the Samsung Corby. Um, the thing here is that the Diva is more expensive than the Corby, so if you are not really into its uh, specific interesting design, I would recommend that you stick with the Samsung Corby. However, for more details on the Samsung Diva and many other cell phones, you can visit phonearena.com.